Welcome back, my name is Michaela, this is Mick Larise, and I am back on my bullshit. We have a TBR. So I did a summer TBR, I will leave the video linked in the card somewhere. I did not stick to it at all. I'm very much a mood reader, so I'd struggle with TBR sometimes, but I do need structure to an extent, and I have some books that I know I'm going to be reading in the next three months, so I'm going to tell you about them. If you have been here for a while, you will know that I am a part of several book clubs. Uh, I think it's three at this point. So there are different book club books that I'm reading. There are also books that I've chosen that I would like to read, series that I'm trying to finish. And then my darling sister, who is behind the camera somewhere, uh, has picked some books for me to read. So that is what I'm going to be telling you about today. So I'm just going to jump into it because I have a lot of books to get through for this. I'm not going to read all these, but we'll see how we go. So first, as a part of the Booked and Boozy like podcast they have a discord and i'm in the discord and in the discord there is a book club and i'm participating in some of the reads where we just kind of read the same books at the same time so currently we're working our way through the vampire academy series i have read one and two already so we have moved past those and i believe we are starting three soon and then four will be done within this season i'm hoping we have those uh, the vampire academy series follows our main character rose hathaway she is what they call a dampier which is kind of like a half vampire half human and they protect the vampires from the evil vampires there are three different categories of vampires in this series. This is very much a high school paranormal romance series which I read a very long time ago and then never finished the spin-off series, the Bloodlines series, which I am aiming to finish because I have the last one on my TBR and it's been there for nearly a decade. Next, I am also currently reading Dawn Study by Maria B. Snyder. I started my reread of the Poison Study series last year and still haven't finished it, so I'm working my way through this. It's not exactly small and I have it on ebook loan from the library because I just find it a bit easier to read it on my phone. I've spoken about it extensively so if you want to hear more about it go check out one of my wrap ups on my other TBRs or my other vlogs that I've done that include the series but basically a main character was a poison taster. There's magic involved, there's love and romance and everything, twists and turns, heartbreak, everything in this series. It's fine if you want to read it. If it sounds like it's something that's up your wheelhouse and you like that kind of story then I'd check it out but it's not like as good as I remember it being. Now say it with me everyone, I will read A Darker Shade of Magic this year at some point. The story of A Darker Shade of Magic, I don't actually know, but my story with it is that I have had it on my TBR for over a year at this point. It's been in so many TBR videos that I've been like, I'm totally gonna get to this this weekend. Never have, never made it there. I've had several people on my last video hardcore convince me that I really need to read it, so. It is in here, it is in another TBR video. Will it be read or is it cursed? We can't know for sure. Stay tuned for three months time when I come back with another video to tell you whether or not I've read it. Next is a book talk favorite. It's Verity by Colleen Hoover. Everyone on BookTok loves Colleen Hoover and Verity is her mystery thriller that she wrote. I have heard that Verity is one of her strongest books because it is a thriller and a mystery. I haven't personally loved her romances for quite some time. I think they're like slightly problematic at points but I am excited to jump into Verity because I've heard that it's quite different and I've heard that it is based around some kind of author novel writing stuff mix that with mystery and it just sounds perfect so i will be jumping into this as soon as i can and i think it will be particularly fitting with the change into the cooler weather later in the season so i'm excited to jump into verity do you want to come and tell everyone charlotte what you picked or are you happy for me to tell them you can tell I will tell them. Okay. So she has picked for me to start yet another series and it is The Poppy War by R.F. Kuang. I've heard conflicting things about The Poppy War. This is a historical fiction fantasy based book. I believe that it is based in some historical events that are like based in truth but aren't actually true. There's magic. I hear that there's a lot of trauma, a lot of heartbreak. The characters are apparently fantastic which we love because we love a good character based story. And this is the start of a trilogy as well. I have seen people that I trust love it and so I'm hoping that I also love it. And she also picked Ava Evergreen's Semi Magical Witch. I've spoken about this before but this is a middle grade I picked it because of the cover, I'm not gonna lie. It's so pretty. Look at it. 
I might try and pick this one up a little later in the season when it's a bit cooler, when I've kind of worked through a few of my other series that I'm trying to get through. Yeah, we'll see how we go. Moving into books that I don't have physically on me, which is becoming more and more of an occurrence. Um, I now have a Kindle account. I never thought I'd have one of those, but I do. Also, as a part of kind of like following with the Booked and Busy podcast, they're currently doing a read through of the Zodiac Academy series. So I'm hoping to read Zodiac Academy 2, 3, and 4 potentially over the next couple of months. Zodiac Academy is mm, an interesting romance story. It follows our two main characters. They are twins and kind of like Bloom from Wings Club. They're swept into like this magical school, magical college society where they actually find out that they are the princesses to the throne and they were switched out at birth so they're changelings and we follow them as they're trying to navigate like finding their place, tapping into their magic, figuring out that they're actually the most powerful people in the entire school and then battling with the people who are currently ruling which are actually also the love interests which is just so confusing it's filled with spice it's filled with drama i want to say it's like very high school drama but in a college setting which is weird and uncomfortable i really didn't enjoy the first one but people keep saying that after the second one it gets very good so I will be continuing the series so that I can keep listening to the podcast, to be honest, that's why I'm doing it. I also have several other book clubs that I'm a part of. I'm a part of the Pocket Pages book club run by Alison from Alison Pages. I will leave her channel linked in the description down below. But Marcha's book for that book club is Sharks in the Time of Saviors. And this is a family based fiction, I believe. And it's set in Hawaii. And I just am already excited based on that. And then the other book club that I'm a part of is the World Booked Book Club run by Lacey and Sadie. I will leave them in the description as well but their March pick is Blood Like Magic which I am currently in the middle of reading and then also next month we will be reading Gilded by Marissa Meyer so I'm excited for that one as well. I loved the Lunar Chronicles and I really enjoyed watching over that series how Marissa Meyer's writing developed so I'm interested to see how she goes in a completely separate world. Very exciting. And I think that that is all for my TBR for Autumn. Autumn is my favourite season and it is the best season for sitting down and reading so I'm excited. There are a few other books that I will be reading that I can't exactly tell you about because they're for some future videos so I will leave you in anticipation for those but that is all of the books that I have to talk about today with you but thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you're having a fantastic day. If you're not already subscribed please consider doing that. That would be amazing and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!